It's funny because I have four YouTube channels now that I'm uploading on on a regular basis. And for the next 91 days, I am <clears throat> posting on every one of those channels. I have to give myself challenges to, uh, to keep busy or else I get bored. So like right now, I am preparing to do some things around the house. Um, I'm basically just gonna be doing some daily vlogging on this channel here for a little while. I'm moving the cars right now so that I can back the Hummer in because I have some things I need to take to the storage unit. I upgraded to a bigger storage unit. Um, maybe you guys have seen that video on my other channel, that Nate guy on YouTube, um, upgraded to a bigger um, storage unit so I'd have more room for all my junk. <laughs> yeah, I really need to get some kind of a platform or some concrete or something over here so I can put these garbage cans back there, kind of get them out of sight. But I have a handful of animatronics and things that I need to get over there to the storage unit today, as well as like some Christmas crap in the garage that I need to get over there too. And I am itching to get out here and get started with this landscaping. It's funny because this is like the most normal channel I have. Everything else is basically me just goofing off and having fun. But this is like behind the scenes of the life of Nate. <laughs> Yeah, look at this garage. It's just full of stuff that needs to go to storage. This landscaping fabric, we'll talk more about this later, but I actually got four giant rolls of this from Sam's, four feet by 225 feet. It was 30 bucks a roll, I think, so I got four of them. Picked up this giant box of contractor bags from Home Depot. I need to get uh, fabric pins yet for that. I thought I ordered some, but maybe not i got these things last year at marks for six bucks a piece it's a leaf collector you put it on your hand like this and you're able to kind of scoop up whatever junk in the yard that you're working with whether it's leaves or mulch pretty cool i know i'm easily distracted all right so i got that stuff loaded up let me take you over and show you the uh, storage unit. So this is a pretty cool storage unit right here. You can open this big door here, pull right inside in case it's raining or anything. And there's always carts sitting right up here along the wall. Unload right here and head down the hallway there. This is a huge storage area in here. And this is it. Enormous 10 by 30 storage unit. Back in. And unload and just for reference for how big this unit is that stuff right there is what I just brought out of the Hummer that filled the entire Hummer well this stuff here and like two things over here and these sleds but you can see just how little bit of space that stuff takes up and how enormous it is in here and one of the reasons why I wanted this enormous one is because it gives me another opportunity for a place to make videos like I just have this stuff kind of piled in here right at the moment but I can move this stuff forward and have a whole area back here to make videos in if I need to. Like setting up animatronics or just pretty much anything that you would need another area to make some videos with. The only thing is that there's no electric available in here. So anything I would need electric for in here would have to be battery powered. My old unit was down this hall here and around the corner. That was only a 10 by 20. What I'm in now is a 10 by 30. So I have a lot more room. And when I get back from storage uniting, I have a beautiful, gorgeous woman here who is making us some lunch. <laughs> what are you making, babe? I am making grilled cheese sandwich with homemade cheesy bread. Yum. And then store-bought sourdough. All right. Sounds Let's delicious. Let's see how that works. Got a little butter here that we're putting on both sides of the bread. Then we're going to have a little grilled or, uh, Swiss cheese. And a little Velveeta. That's what I'm talking about right there. And to go with our grilled cheese made on cheesy bread, I think we're going to crack out some cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we get these ginormous things at Sam's Club. How much are these, babe? I think they're only like $7.98 or something. Something like that. Very, very inexpensive. And delicious. delicious. The best cottage cheese you'll ever eat. 
All right, well, when that's done, we're going to eat. And I got to get busy with some other stuff. So that's going to wrap up today's episode. And I will see you guys tomorrow.